In this video, I'm going to talk about probability. And we'll start off with just this question. What is the probability of rolling a 2 on this die over here? So this is an ordinary six-sided die. Um, we can't actually see the 2, but there would be all the numbers are on there for, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the numbers from 1 through 6. So the probability of getting a 2, there's only one 2 out of the six possible things we could roll on that die. So just to kind of show, so probability in general is the number of ways to get a specific outcome divided by the total number of possible outcomes. So in this case, there is the one way to get a two out of the six possible things we could get on the die, all the numbers from one through six. So that's, in general, what you're going to do to, for probability. You're just going to see how many ways are there to get the thing you're looking for compared to how many total possible outcomes are there. So applying that to this next question, the probability of getting a 2 or a 3 on this die means there are now two things we're looking for out of the 6. So this could be 2 or 3. So that gives us two outcomes we're looking for still out of the six possible outcomes. Um, and in this case, since this is a fraction that could be simplified, we'll go ahead and do that. So we can divide both of these by 2, divide by 2, so we end up getting a 1 out of 3 probability as our final answer. So if you can simplify the fractions with probability, you normally would, um, but you start in that same way. The number of specific outcomes we're looking for is the 2, then the 6 is the total possible outcomes. Um, got a couple more of these just to get some little twists on it. So the probability of getting a number greater than 5. So if we again just list everything that's on that die, we've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. The only one out of all of these things that's greater than 5 is the 6. So that's the only one that's more than 5. So in this case, we have one desired outcome still out of the 6 possible outcomes on that die. So when you have words like greater than or less than or at least or at most, you just want to kind of be careful to think about exactly what is it that, it, that that's asking for. Um, next one's a little bit of a trick question. In fact, the next two are a little bit of trick questions, but something I wanted you to get a chance to see. Uh, so the probability of getting a number greater than 6. So if we look back again at our list here, how many numbers are greater than 6? Well, there aren't any. So we've got a 0 out of 6 probability, and 0 divided by anything is just 0. So the probability of us getting a number greater than 6 is 0. It means it's not going to happen. So there's no way that we can roll that die and get a number greater than 6. This one's sort of a trick question the other way. What's the probability of rolling that die with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and getting a number that's even or odd? So the even numbers would be 2, 4, 6. It keeps going, but on the die, we would only have the 2, 4, 6. The odd would be 1, 3, or 5. So to get an even or an odd, well, that's everything on the die. So all 6 out of 6 options would give us an even or an odd number. And 6 out of 6 is going to simplify to just be 1, because we could divide both of these by 6 divide by 6, we get a 1 out of 1, which is just 1. Um, so two little things to keep in mind with probability is that an impossible event has a probability of 0, and something that has to happen, like we had to get e either an even or an odd number, that has a probability of 1. So all probabilities that you're going to see have to be between 0 and 1. You're never going to get a negative number for a probability, and you're never going to get an answer bigger than 1 for probability, because it's always you know, the specified number of options out of the total possible outcomes. So that's a little bit of a quick introduction to probability. I'm going to show you one more example, um, just to give you to have you kind of look at it in a slightly different context. So with this one, um, let's say we have a class, and in this classroom there are 11 girls and 5 boys. So what's the probability of selecting at random? So we just kind of pick a random name out of the class and choosing a boy. So we want to think about, again, going back to this definition, the number of ways to get the specific outcome would be 5, because there are 5 boys in the class. 
And then we have to look at the total number of possible outcomes. So we have 11 girls plus 5 boys. So we have 16 students all together. So out of this class, there are 16 people they could choose. So there are 16 total possible outcomes. So the probability of choosing that boy, or cho I mean choosing a boy, choosing a, just a, a boy from the class is 5 out of 16. Um, one other thing I thought I'd show is an example with this one. With probability, when you hear them in everyday life, sometimes they're going to be reported as percentages, like there's a 70% chance of rain tomorrow or something. Um, so to get that percentage, all we would do is do 5 divided by 16. So the fraction bar here just means divide. This is going to give us 0.3125. So we could report the probability that way also. Or if we do want to make a percentage out of it, all we have to do is move that decimal two spaces, and this becomes a 31.25% probability. So when you're looking in terms of percents, probabilities will go from 0 to 100% probability. So that's the same as 0 to 1 in fraction or decimal form. Um, and one last example we'll look at real quick is in this same classroom, what is the probability of not selecting a boy? So if, if there are these 16 people in the class, five of them are boys, we could look at this two ways. We know because it told us that 11 out of the 16 are girls. Or we could also say that everybody in the class is 16 minus the five boys leaves us with 11 who are not boys. So 16 is the total. Take away the five boys. The remaining 11 are not boys. And then again, to get the probability form, it would be 11 out of the 16 total people. Um, if we wanted to change this one to a decimal or a percent, we would again just do that division. 11 divided by 16, we get 0.6875 or making the percent, we're going to have 68.75%. So that gives you a kind of quick introduction to the basic ideas of probability, um, the idea of this definition of probability right here, um, and then keeping in mind that idea that probability is always going to be between 0 and 1. 0 if it's completely impossible, 1 if it absolutely has to happen.